won the Primavera crown since 2006 and only four times in their history. So a big opportunity for them tonight. Got some famous faces, certainly some family members here as well to watch this first semi-final of the Primavera, Tim Vision between the Giallo Rossi Roma and the Bianconeri Juventus who have not had a good record against their opponents in the last eight. They haven't managed to win a single one. Have to go back four years for the last time Juve beat Roma in the under-19s. Mr. Pascarella leading the respective sides out onto the pitch here at the Stadio Enzo Ricci. And a great opportunity, showpiece event at the end of a long and successful season for Roma and Juventus, who finished in fifth place with 17 wins, Roma with 21. And the captain, Trippi, in position. The famous colours of the two respective clubs playing on neutral territory here in Emilia-Romagna. These young players with an opportunity to write themselves into a page of history as they come towards the end of their, uh, their youth phase as players. We saw the last time these two sides met in, uh, in this competition in the final in 2016, the likes of uh, Marquitza, Jose Machin, now with uh, Monza and Ndoy, as well as Luca Pellegrini involved for the Giallo Rossi and for Juventus, the likes of Aldero. Paul Lirola, Romagna, Casata and Castanos all featuring at Serie A clubs now. So this is the last stepping stage for these young players with the possibility of those a little bit older, of 19 or 20. We've already seen some success from the likes of Zalewski, Bove and Volpato. And Volpato starting here today. They're all moving up to the Serie A side at different times throughout this campaign when called upon by head coach Jose Mourinho. So, last look at the uh, officials. A last photo for the respective sides. Juventus in their famous white and black stripes and uh, Roma in the famous red with the yellow trim. And in his 19th season, Alberto De Rossi won it three times previously, last in 2016, the one I just mentioned where they beat Juve in the final on penalties. Bonatti at 37 years of age, very much at the other end of his coaching career. Respect to uh, Alberto De Rossi, but with uh, Bonetti on the field, the captain of Juventus. He is hoping that they can put in another good performance. They are missing Umbangola, who's uh, picked up an injury and isn't available for selection. That's one of two changes from the victory against Atalanta, with Omic also coming in for Ruhi, while for the uh, the visiting side, again, they haven't featured uh, since the 15th of May, when they beat Fiorentina four goals to one, so what's that, two weeks ago almost, and uh, putting out the best side available, De Rossi, as we're ready in position, and it's just gone 6 p.m. here in uh, Emilia-Romagna. So the first Primavera Prima final, semi-final, is underway. And uh, early into the defence of Roma. Veratovic on the left-hand side. Rocchetti on the far flank with the 3-4-1-2 is the anticipated formation here with Vicario and uh, Ndiaye in the back three. Regular. Starters throughout the regular season. Master Antonio with the high kick out. Strong header by Turicchio. One of the highest scoring defenders in the division. That man there was one of the top scorers of any sort in the uh, 
the regular season as Mizori picking up an injury. We saw, strangely, four players in the uh, Atalanta Juventus game go off with cramp, which is uh, not something you see almost ever. An early uh, injury there for Misori. 18 years of age, scored three goals in 31 appearances for Roma, again in the regular season. This ground where uh, Sassuolo used to play in until the late 2000s. And they were down in the lower division football. And Juventus yet to touch it after 90 seconds. And Die threads it up the line. The uh, return of Satriano contributed four league goals. Volpato, the top scorer in the uh, regular season of those on the pitch. And 11. So uh, Chibozo and uh, Ealing put in really good performance against Atalanta in that game in the quarterfinal a few days ago as uh, Misori considers his options. Still quite a hot uh, early evening. And 27, 28 degrees. Uh, the perfect conditions to be playing in. A little on the hot side. Misori along down the line. Cushion header and chance for Volpato to switch it. No angle for the shot, so coming back inside is Cherubini. Rocchetti. Cherubini left himself open. Crossed by Feratovic is easily cleared away on that occasion, but Roma starting the game stronger. Last meeting in the league was uh, on the 10th of April. It was a 3 0 victory for Roma, but all three goals came in the second half. They also played in the quarterfinals of the Coppa Italia earlier this season. That was a 2 2 with Roma eventually coming through on penalty kicks by six goals to five. Bonetti and Sukarovic missing. First touch for the English winger, Ealing. Double figures for goals for the season and wearing that strapping on his left wrist after picking up a, a break. Zwango. Ventus had the best attack in the division over the season as uh, Ndiaye is able to get his bearings and clear it away. Turikia squared into the middle. Trippi is dispossessed. No reaction from Mulazzi as it's cleared into the channel. The intensity of uh, Juventus against Atalanta was certainly noteworthy and they were the better side in the match. They scored both goals through Atalanta errors in defense. But in terms of the balance of play, uh, control in the match and the possession and the quality of that possession, certainly Juventus uh, were with a better team. Needed the very last second, both goals coming in added time. The added time of the first and then the second half as a draw would have seen Atalanta go through because Juventus finished lower than them in the league standings. Strong challenge by Mozwango, but he couldn't keep hold of the possession. Goes back into Master Antonio. 31 starts in the league, the 18-year-old. Missori, it's a good touch. Well, he was not on the same wavelength as Faticanti. Turicchia. Now again, Chiboso. He's got some devastating pace when he gets into, into space. Bonetti's short pass. Omic, who came in as a, a late sub in the game against Atalanta. Zwango. Mohoremovic. Just a little slow to close down there was uh, Volpato. Vicario kept it down to Trippi. Passing game of Roma is eventually able to find some space. Moving it nicely. Rocchetti's ball finds Cherubini. And Roma still moving forward. Last semi final for Roma was in 2019. They lost three goals to nil against Inter. Uh, the last time they did 
get through the semis and make the final. Was that already mentioned? 2016 edition. Well, they beat Inter in the semis. Juve beat Torino over two legs in their semi-final. And then they faced off with a 1-1 draw that was eventually decided itself on penalty kicks. I'll make you see Austrian Bosnia Herzegovina, 19-year-old. Well, a bit of a height mismatch there between Ndai and uh, Chibozo in terms of an aerial contest. Good tempo to the opening minutes. Roma, who went 12 of the first uh, matches of the season unbeaten in the league and built up a, a massive lead, which uh, slowed down somewhat in the second half of the campaign. Eventually losing a total of five matches. Vicario slips it over to Ferratovic. Rocchetti inside him is Trippi, the captain, if needed. Great to see that Jose Mourinho has included those uh, three players I mentioned, Zalewski, Volpato, Bove, this season in the senior squad. And, of course, as we forget, Afena, Afena Jan scored... Uh, Six goals in five games. We're going to the senior squad. That's a foul. Hassa going down. 18-year-old Italian with the Moroccan descent. Another one who came on as a substitute. Shows his good balance. Low center of gravity. And got away from Fatty Canti there. None of the players are booking away from suspension. This is a, a one-off match to reach the final. So it has to be decided here this evening and with Roma having finished in the higher position in first place Juventus in fifth means that Juve have to win the game if they want to go on to face either Inter or Cagliari Ealing good shape on it too not enough energy attacking the back post Bonetti gets it back this is a good position and the chance is cleared away. Juventus create the first moment of the game. Again, don't really see the intensity there of the Juve players looking to get the shot. That coming after Bonetti and uh, Zwangle work together in the corner. Sixty-four years of age now, De Rossi. Took over in 2003. Longest serving. Under 19's coach in Roma history. And I dare say in any club's history, as the ball into Savona is cut out. Rocchetti trying to find Ferratovic, who's hit it long early. No movement further up ahead of him. Out on the full, so it's a throw in to Juventus. 19 years of age, Felix and Zwango. Turicchia brings it down. Now try to puncture the midfield. Decided to go early with the cross. The movement of Mulazzi had interested him. Rocchetti into the corner. Stretching his trippi. Savona gets it back off Hassa. Now trying to work the angle. Hassa, he's licensed to do dribbles. Mulazzi, that's a corner kick. Again, Hassa making a difference. With the net of defenders around him, still able to make some space. Will be Luis Hassa. Oh, and it's flicked across the face of goal by the Roma defender. And Zwango's pass. Chiborzo. Savona. Long way out for a dig. Ooh, and the keeper 
That goes as a shot on target, and he needed to be saved. Wasn't the most powerful. Savona with two lead goals this season. Karatsovic. Satriano up against Nzwango. Oh, and he easily beats him. Running to the box from Misori, but too close to Senko, the Hungarian keeper. What a lot he could have done to stop Tatalanta's equalizing goal in the, uh, the quarter final. So beautifully struck by Mustafa Sisse, curling away from him into the, the corner. Oh, it's a good position there, wasted with uh, Fatih Kanti going for the first time pass. He had three players, teammates ahead of him against the defence. No slip by Iling, read by Ndiaye. Fatih Kanti. Volpato. Flag stays down. Makes the angle for the cross. This is good play by Roma. Satriano eventually penalised. Didn't look a lot in that. Cinco with a long kick out, changing the angle into the corner for Mulazzi. It's a little isolated. The decision goes against Roma, hence all the screams from the sidelines. Savona's throw down. Turicchia. Healing. Nice ball, first time there by the captain. And uh, Ndia was off balance. It's another corner kick for Juventus. Another good shape. Savona, Zwango, Chiborzo has really found any space so far. Has the first time on the left. Be encouraged to shoot. And cleared away by Misori. We've seen all the, uh, the raving about Miretti. Juventus youth player who's now made his debut with the, the full squad under Massimiliano Allegri. Inspiration to a lot of these young players as well. Of course, most of them won't end up playing for the Bianconeri, but plenty of other teams to go to. Rocchetti. And well read there by uh, Senko. Zombor Senko, 19. It's a quarter of an hour gone here already. Ratovic a little bit confused his positioning there. And Savona come charging over the top. Early ball in. Way by the eye. Chiborzo. Chiborzo. 
First time we really see his skills on shot. Eling trying to use every blade of grass to get it in for the cross, but good to see Chibosa starting to go through the gears there. Diaz pass. Well read coming across, uh, Muharemovic. Good touch, Savona. Took the shot and was not far away. Well, the fullback making an impact on that far side. Once again, we see him. Breaking up the play on this occasion, determined to go for goal. And maybe inspiration from the likes of Gianluca Zambrotta, and the great Italian right backs, as it's uh, knocked back by Muharemovic. Senko returns it. The Bosnian keeps it down. Juventus starting to play better now. And that's a good ball through the middle. Mulazzi won't get there. Master Antonio read the danger. Mulazzi beat the offside trap. Always a concern for a coach to see a ball like that knocked straight through the middle of the defense. Turicchia. Haremovic, Senko. Keeps it short as they try and play it out from the back. Oh, that's a fly ball. Iling had drifted into the position to try and challenge Mizori in the corner, but not the best pass. Zwango. Cleared away by Senko once again, having to use his legs. Unable to keep it inside the field of play. So throw into Roma. Rocchetti to take. Trippi. Vicario. Diai. So he's passing to the middle, given away. Bonetti quick to pounce off the head of uh, Chibozo. And he can play it back there. Use the dummy run. And has a, an orthodox clearance by uh, Feratovic. Coming from the misplaced pass in midfield. Chibozo. Bonetti. Turicchia. Easily away by Feratovic. Oric. And now with Muharemovic. Haza. Again, dangerous running style. Less so the attempt on the left boot. 20 minutes gone. Juventus playing the better football again, though. Knocking it around nicely in these last few minutes. Roma struggling to get the ball outside of their half, get their formation into enemy territory. Satriano. Senko again off his line. A little more promising as the link up play with Satriano and Cherubini starts to take light.
Well, again, given away, and Roma unable to make that crucial pass. Faticanti on that occasion went first time, but straight back to the Juventus defenders. Trippi was waiting. Well, and under 19s, you can understand that there are some decision making that uh, could be a little better. On that occasion, Mulazzi. A sliding challenge by Ferralovic sets this off for Volpato. Chiborzo. Savona. Roma staying organized at the back at the moment. Juventus patient as they try and find a way through. Ling, good challenge coming from the outside position, which could be a risk in terms of giving away a foul, a penalty. But judged it well on that occasion, Missouri. Missouri, I should say. But again, the Roma formation all back inside their own half as uh, Mukharemovic finds Turikia. Bonetti given away. Making too many mistakes in possession, Roma. Omic crosses. And it's sent up high by NDA. Once again, another pass under pressure. It's come straight out. Straight back to Juve. Went for the aerial ball, but NDA was waiting for it. Ball just keeps coming back to Juve at the moment. Double challenge, Savona, no foul, play on. Zwanga, will Juve will try and take advantage of this period of dominance? Bonetti, Ealing, Turicchia gives it off to Ciborzo. Play on again, says the referee. Volpato. Misori, unable to uh, to make the touch. Had his head up. Didn't know where the ball was going between his feet. Twenty-five minutes on the clock. It's been Juventus's half to this point. Haven't made that many opportunities. That's a good ball. Chiborzo. Touch from Missouri gets him away from Ealing. That was a good touch. Satriano recovers the possession. A lot of advantage there. Referee Warnick trying to keep the game moving, and that's for the better. We don't need the succession of fouls and whistles that you see in the senior game. Just slowing things down. Faticanti, who felt he was fouled. 
And so an opportunity to take a uh, take a break. It does give you an indication of just how hot some of the players are. They need to put ice packs on their neck. It was uh, Samuel Ealing in that case for Juve. De Rossi going over some tactical details there. As is his opponent, uh, Andrea Bonatti. Juventus senior team having uh, the male team having a uh, very disappointing year after the first uh, time in a decade. They failed to win a single trophy. The women's, however, dominated once again, winning the, uh, the treble. And it would be good for Juventus to, to get a Primavera victory. So too for Roma. Maybe this in Alberto de Rossi's last season as uh, the under-19s coach. <laughs> Certainly won't be easy. Tomorrow's second semi into the Cagliari. In the final next Tuesday. Tuesday evening. <laughs> the showpiece event to decide who is crowned champions of uh, the Primavera. So there'll be two minutes at least added on at the end of the first half for that cooling break. Opportunity for the players just to, to hydrate themselves. To see people drifting into the ground as uh, knocking off work or <coughs> school. Side in the shade, more comfortable to sit in. So ready to go again. Savona has the ball in his hands and it's throwing back to Nzwango. Haremovic, it's a good ball, Ealing. Sliding challenge in the drop of the shoulder. Ealing should get there. Ooh, blooded by Feratovic. Bonetti. Haza. Haremovic continuing his uh, way forward. Now the switch out to the right hand side. It was tracked back by Rocchetti, and it's a throw into Roma, who uh, really could do with changing the tempo of this game at the moment. Juventus having all the ball. Let's see if they can uh, retain the possession this time. Savona's header, Haza. Well, again, he has the technical quality to get away from his man. Just like the accuracy of the pass on that occasion. Feradovic. Haza lays off. Bonetti, clever touch. It's opened up for him. And that was a big moment for the Juventus captain. Did he rush the shot? Clever touch to get away from Faticanti. And uh, he did score five league goals in the regular season.
Polpato switches it over. Again, Juventus increasing the intensity in the midfield to stop Roma passing through them. Forcing them into the wide positions. That's a good ball. Pulled back and Rocchetti unable to find a teammate. One of the few attacking moments for Roma. Maybe now they can establish some territory superiority. Polpato, again the keeper's come out and he's read the situation well. Clearance hasn't gone quite far enough. Hasa returning. Bonetti found him once more. Mulazzi. Drifts into an offside position. Skills from Volpato and Bonetti. Aza. Another shot, another time. It's there for Master Antonio. More encouraging, though. And a bit more of a stretch for the keeper on that occasion. Nearly all the chances have gone Juventus's way in this first half as it's away by and day. Down by Volpato. Easily gets away from Omic. Rocchetti. Satriano. Cherubini. Trippi. Cherubini on the turn, Trippi, dispossessed by Bonetti. Healing. Turicchia, well cut out, but it is another corner kick. Samuel Ealing is coming across, as is Haza. 16 goals for Chiborzo in the league. Got an assist for the opener against Atalanta. Ealing again. No way through on that occasion. Fatikanti making the last touch. Ealing once more with Hazard making tracks towards the edge of the area. Much deeper, unmarked. Give credit there to uh, Ndiaye. Just made that pass of Nzwango a little more difficult. And the corner kick was accurate. Ealing. And there was no touch from a Roma player. So that is a goal kick but uh, not a bad idea there from Chiborzo as the pass came through to him but Master Antonio who's had to make more saves than Senko at the other end hasn't really been put under the pump so far as they look to kick it long strong header there by uh, Mujaremovic Still alive for Roma. Rocchetti. Trippi. Yeah, he finds uh, Misori. It's run through, but only as far as the defender. 
Challenge in the middle, play on, says the referee. Fatty Kanti finds it to, to the left where Satriano now has Cherubini in the channel. Fatty Kanti opens up, great chance and great save by Senko. Then the offside flag. Roma suddenly have a clear sight of goal. Decided to go at the near post instead of across the Hungarian. And we can see it again. Kerubini gets away from Savona. And uh, it is a good stop though. Fatty Kanti, Kerubini. A lively save. And then the challenge afterwards bringing the foul. That's the best chance of the game so far. DA going down and uh, fouled as far as the referee was concerned. is uh, Mizori and he managed to keep it in almost collided with the cameraman at the same time Bonetti Savona and that's gone behind for yet another corner kick one of the few moments in the game where it's been stretched and they've gone uh, end to end in successive attacks Hasa the one to deliver it in again on that far side. Ball's gone out after it left his boot, then came back in the field of play. So a goal kick to Roma. Can remember, because of the league finishing, Roma only need to draw to go through to the final, whereas Juventus have to win. Oof. Strong contact getting up there, Turicchia. Coming from behind, and officials taking uh, extra care with any sort of head injury. Volpato staying down just clipped him on the back of the head but never easy to tell how painful that might be from uh, the camera images Polpato played in three games for Roma this season Italian under 20 40 minutes on the clock. Vicario over to Feratovic. Away by Vicario. Savona's headed down. He's got it back. Now into Bonetti. Pick his pass. Decided to dribble it forward. And then uh, Haza was dispossessed. This is still there. Omic's ball. Well, difficult one there because Omic threw himself into the challenge. And yes, the linesman, or rather the referee, deciding to go with the Roma free kick. Well, that wasn't a, t a 
That wasn't at all clear what happened. Why was he yelping there? And then he's straight back up. Not a problem in the world. And back into Master Antonio. Pato trying to use it, but uh, they were outnumbered once again and couldn't find one another in the attack. Another crossfield pass that doesn't find Chibozo. has not really been a force in this first half so far. Just that one dribble. From the left corner. Healing with the touch. Again, another errant pass. Strong challenge, but no foul. DA charges forward. Tackle by Turikia is a foul for the referee. It's a bit too far out for the direct shot from the free kick. Pato and Mizori over the ball. It's going to be Volpato. Good shape, but uh, he's coming down and straight at uh, Senko. This kick out is. To midfield, headed by the same Volpato. It's kept inside the field of play by Rocchetti. Oh, and another ball that's just away from his teammate. Bonetti again with the long ball. Got it to Chiborzo, who's ridden the challenge. Well, there was deja vu there of uh, the moment when uh, they took the lead at the end of the first half against Atalanta a few days ago, but it wasn't to be on that occasion because uh, Master Antonio was lightning off his line. Volpato. Game really needs a goal. Volpato might provide it. And that's a free kick, which uh, draws a yellow card from the referee. Jaremovic saying he got the ball, but uh, let's have another look. Well, difficult. We need a few more angles. The ref was pretty close by. This is a lot closer and uh, certainly within the range of uh, Volpato. He's just had one warm-up from the free kick just moments ago. Now, can he get his radar in? One good save from Senko to deny Cherubini. Two additional minutes at the end of this first half for the first semi-final in the Primavera. And the Vintas have had uh, the better of it overall, not creating too many clear goal-scoring chances, shots from distance. <laughs> Tripip. Oh, what a goal! And Roma take the lead into the break. The captain strikes it beautifully. And Filippo Trippi, that's his first goal of the season. 
And what a special time to get in. The captain raises his hand as he sends that one flying into the top corner. And it is Roma 1, Juventus 0. Contentious free kick on the edge of the area. From the Juventus perspective, so nothing contentious about the validity of the, uh, the goal in itself. Really good strike there by the captain, Trippi. Two balls are making the slide. Volpato lays it back off. Trippi into Cherubini. No need to rush the ball forward. Plenty of time. D.A. is at the referee's discretion now. Hoof tie and straight into the glove, so that should be it for the first half here. We're here in the uh, communication between the refs on the sideline and the assistants to the referee, so the whistle is ready to go. And that's it. Well, a very close first half decided at the death by uh, the captain Filippo Trippi and it is Roma 1, Juventus nil, and the Giallorossi are in the driving seat as we go to the break. More to come soon, don't go away.
Hello and welcome back to the Stadio Enzo Ricci where uh, concerning times for Andrea Bonatti, the coach of Juventus, seemed to be going their well way, had more of the ball, were playing it around well and having got more of the territory, but right at the end in the added two minutes, the captain, uh, Filippo Trippi, stepped up to a contentious free kick as far as uh, Muharemovic was concerned. He was booked for the challenge and Trippi fired in a fantastic free kick to the top corner nothing Senko could do about it and so it's Roma 1 Juventus nil here in this first Primavera semi-final and uh, there will be a winner at the end of the regulation time and uh, Juventus need two goals now so it should make for an entertaining second half so we're back underway here in Emilia Romagna with uh, Juve kicking us off, going from left to right in their famous white and black stripes. No changes to speak of, and just that one booking for the player on the ball now, Muharemovic. Now our Alberto De Rossi side going to approach this second half, having the lead, having finished first in the league standings with 71 points draw would see the side who uh, had the higher league placement go through to the next round that is Roma so Juventus need two goals second semi-final remember is tomorrow 5 p.m. Italian time it's just gone past seven here at the moment and that second semi will feature Inter and Cagliari after Cagliari drew with Samp Again, they finished higher than their uh, opponents. Bucciacchiatti, so pass to the next round. <laughs> Bonetti, captain who had uh, one of a couple of shots from distance on the edge of the area in the first half Savona and uh, Hassa also going from range unable to really test uh, Mastrantonio in the Roma goal dominated this uh, fixture both uh, home and away in the last eight meetings four years since Juventus beat them in a competitive match including uh, cup competitions this year they got by them in the quarter-final of the Primavera Coppa Italia that's been given away by Vicario an opportunity now Chiborzo against Ndiaye good sliding challenge though to recover by the Senegalese Claim of the penalty, and he brings it away. Good balance and pace from the uh, African defender, and just couldn't find a teammate. Savona into Omic. Nzwango. Karimovic, Bonetti, Ealing, and what we saw from Atalanta in the, uh, the second half after the equalized, taking in a deficit against Juventus, they were all level and they tried to play it out in the last 20-30 minutes, Juve Laid siege to their box. And the substitute Leonardo Cherry got the crucial winning goal in the 92nd minute. Ealing crossing in. Good ball too, but it was away by Indie. Well, that's he found Savona. Bonetti finds the angle. Ealing crosses. And Vicario. Blocking off at the near post. Corner kick to Juventus. Taken quickly. Ealing 
That was a good ball in. And Zhuang got another corner to follow. The near post, it was initially missed, and Zwango! Roma saved by the frame of the goal. And then he's back in defence, chopping it out from Cherubini's feet. Haza. Amic. Bonetti. Ealing tries to invent the chip, but that is Master Antonio's ball. And you can see it again. Has he was flicked on, steadied himself, left foot off the crossbar, and Bonetti right in front of the bouncing ball, but couldn't react. Already looking at the substitution here, De Rossi. Tarovic is the one getting ready to come on. Savona's pass, good pressure in the midfield. And again, Roma under pressure, Juventus aggressive without the ball. Mr. Antonio. Bonetti has uh, homage inside of him, but goes over his shoulder to Turicchia. Mulazzi wins it back cheaply. Homage finds Savona. The cross is early. Well, not the tallest, an explosive player. Angel Chiboso. Bonetti. Chiboso tried to turn. Hatikanti was waiting and again conceding a lot of territory here. The Gianarossi. Unzuango. Hasa. Telling one of the coaches not to stand on the pitch. Take one step back. Hassa. Ealing. Packs himself. Couldn't find an angle around Trippi. That should allow the substitutions to be made now. La Roma sostituisce il numero 29. So Cherubini comes out. And Tairovic comes in. So a striker leaves the field and a midfielder comes on. I'm going to see Volpato pushed further forward. Tairovic, who played in 27 league games and scored three goals. Bosnian Swede. So already we see Volpato, more advanced position, straight into the action. You see, he won the free kick that led to the goal. He's found the ball into Satriano, whose shot is on a tight angle. And ultimately no concern to Senko. Not the best pass from Savona into Ealing, who put it out on the first touch. Ealing putting the pressure, forcing the early kick from Mastrantonio. Header won by Ferratovic. 
Bouncing ball in the midfield is need over the top, but uh, Volpato couldn't make the touch. And again, just a little too rushed in their passing decision making as Satriano knocks it back into midfield. Tarovic. Rocchetti gives it off. Faticanti. Rocchetti taking his time, but he couldn't get the deflection behind for the corner kick. Vicario, Feratovic, Rocchetti and the run from Tarovic, the substitute, could only pick out homage. Savona's pass straight into the chest of Rocchetti and then uh, arriving, well it's a real uh, heated battle in the midfield. They having their hand forced, they need uh, goals, two of them. Finishing first in the league certainly should count for something. Hence uh, Roma having that advantage were there to be a draw as Bonetti. Again, he's uh, the main man in the middle in terms of pulling the uh, strings, making the play. Ricchia laid it off, Chiborzo just takes one moment of distraction, one moment of quality. This game can drastically change direction. Volpato. Can Juve go to press? Veratovic's pass. Still got it. Volpato, good balance, and then the back heel. Feratovic chips it. Satriano had uh, Nzwang all over him. Play on, says the referee. Well, Pescarella has uh, tried to let the game run as much as he possibly can, and it's been pretty even for both sets. Although they, uh, those voices you can hear in complaining to the referee. Faticanti. Satriano. Volpato turns back. He's getting away from Ealing. He's got Chip Borza in front of him. Now to the right side. Mizori. Vicario. Feratovic. Give and go. Rocchetti, but they're keeping it in defense. Having to move the ball quickly, though. Not too much time to get the head up and pick a pass. Juve very well organized, but they still have to find a way to get the ball back. And D.A. inside pass. Here's the captain, the goal scorer, Trippi. Too much pace on that, the header. And then the second touch. Just did enough there in the middle, Faticanti. Prolonged period of possession here for Roma. Just what they needed when Juve uh, really trying to turn the vice on them. And that's going to allow the substitutions to be made. So uh, Turco, striker, coming in. La Juventus sostituisce il numero 10, Bonetti, con il numero 26, Seculara. Seculara coming into the midfield. Interesting that he's gone for Turco and not uh, Leonardo Ceri. Bonetti off that uh, short to change the balance of things. Sekularak, 22 appearances, one goal this season. Turco, five goals and 22 
in the regular season. There's a free kick there for Roma. They just managed to get through that difficult period where Juve were really pushing after they hit the crossbar. Through the shot by the defender, Nzwango. It seemed like uh, Roma was struggling to meet Juventus in terms of their intensity. And they've dominated the possession for the last two or three minutes. Juve really haven't touched the ball. And that's just uh, changed the complexion of the game again. 19-year-old Hungarian Zombor Tsenko in the goal for Juve. And to shade his eyes a little from the setting sun. Volpato. You know, had three appearances in Serie A this season for the first team. It's gone straight at goal and didn't catch sink or sleeping. 60 minutes on the clock. Had a cooling break after 25 in the first half. But uh, temperature starting to go down now as we're uh, approaching 7.30 p.m. here in Emilia Romagna. Omic switches it. Nice looking ball. Chiborzo gets behind and now needs an option. Elink and Vicario, like the bouncer at a nightclub, watching the front door. And that's the keeper's really steep angle to try and find Turco. Two substitutes trying to combine, and already Mastro Antonio looking to run a few extra seconds out of the clock with 30 minutes of the match remaining. Mastro Antonio walks it up to the edge of his area. Just the one substitution made by Alberto De Rossi. Outside of the boots, finds Turco. So Turco's entry has seen Hassa move more centrally to where Bonetti was. Oh, and the skills turning on the class there, Volpato caught after the fact and no advantage needed to be given as they retain the possession but almost starting to show their class with the, the ball at feet Hazza with the challenge against it here the old lady and the eight Mr. Antonio is the target that is himself and launches the high kick up into the channel his angle was always favorite and Vince has come up with the possession slid over but cut out from Mulazzi's feet and that was well read by Rocchetti uh, he saw there De Rossi put his uh, hands in his hair and scratch his head. Mulazzi back into Savona. So they've gone to a back three with that substitution just before. Putting... Uh, Sekularak into midfield and Haza drifting out to the right. Again, great balance from uh, Italian, Italian Moroccan. Nice technical player. Ealing takes a dig from distance. No, we've got he's got the power. Ten goals in the regular season. Samuel Ealing, 18-year-old from England. Savona uses certain uh, Zwango. Roma happy to sit back at the moment and just try and keep themselves organized. That was good pressure in the midfield, though, by uh, Faticanti. There's no flag at the moment. Satriano almost got there. He's pulled up as uh, Senko plays it out. Well, Juventus aren't going to be waiting for that. Hazza into Mulazzi. 
Good sliding challenge there by Rocchetti. Well, if De Rossi wants to make a substitution, he can do it now. Well, the, uh, the cramp has come back to haunt the players here at the, uh, the Stadio Enzo Ricci. Let's have another look. Steps out. Not really clear. Tried to tow it with the underside of his boots and then pulled up. But uh, clearly from that image, it's uh, a cramp there for number nine, Antonio Satriano, 18 years of age, four goals in the league, 28 appearances. Bonatti checking his watch. Well, we've got 25 minutes remaining. They need two goals. And really would prefer to avoid these sort of stoppages, the referee, if uh, at all possible. So substitutions being uh, thought about, try and keep the game moving. There's uh, the big, tall Cherry. La made the difference, replacing Haza. Cherry. Wearing the number nine jersey, the hero from a few days ago. So Christian Padula. One goal in his 15 league appearances this season is the one to replace the, the cramped Satriano. Didn't get any sights of goal. <laughs> 17 years of age, Padula. Ealing. Not what they want to see at this stage. The finest of margins separating the two sides. Had that shot from Unzwango, caught the underside of the bar and crossed the line. The complexion of this match would be totally different, but as it is, Roma have managed to go on. Limit Juventus. So it should be a 3 4 3 now with uh, Gimborzo on the left, Cherry in the middle, and Turco on the right. It's defensive work is needed. And Padula maybe a drift into an offside position. Doesn't matter. We come again. Juventus with all the uh, reason to rush the ball forward as fast as possible. Senko keeps it on the deck. Zwango stretches the legs, dropping in was Chibozo. It's not really where he's most effective. Omic. Iling. And again, not able to combine with, uh, with Mulazzi. No reason to stop believing, though. Plenty of time left here for Juventus to turn this game around. Mastrantonio forces the defence away, so long kick out. Well, managed to get up there and make contact, and away goes Volpato. He's going to go alone, and it's a save from Cinco to keep Juventus alive. Christian Volpato, the star player of this Roma formation today, decided the only way was if he took responsibility himself. It's a really good stop from the Hungarian keeper. Bouncing in front of him, not easy. And a crucial fingertip to turn it away for this corner kick. The same Volpato who puts it in. Shot from distance, converted behind. So, well, it was shanked so badly, it's gone out for a throw in. Yeah. 
and Zhuango. Well, he's got his head up and looking long, but in the end, it's just a short pass into the channel. Ealing trying to come back inside. Mulazzi, Cherry, his first touches leads to a corner kick. Good position here, men in the box, 70 minutes on the clock, and Juventus needs something. Time is against them. At the near post, but they've got it away, clearly. And 25 minutes gone in the second half. There's going to be another cooling break. Again, still a warm evening. See by the dress there that everybody's uh, keeping it light. So the players can come across. Well, the goal, how it came about, it really was a fantastic free kick by the captain, Filippo Trippi. Consider that he uh, hadn't scored a single one this season, then steps up and fires in the ball to the top corner. And uh, there's Thiago Pinto, sporting director of Roma, seeing how the youngsters are getting on, the Portuguese. Roma, who just won the Conference League, the debut competition under Jose Mourinho. And once again, with the likes of uh, Zalewski, Bove and Volpato, all seeing minutes in the top side and Afanajan could argue that uh, Roma the Roma youth sector has uh, had the most success this year in terms of minutes and uh, influence on the top side Afanajan scoring those two goals against Genoa Zalewski regular starter in the last uh, what dozen 15 matches as Bonatti one last charge up for his team to uh, get them focused. Alberto De Rossi, this is going to be his last season in charge after uh, 19 years. What a way it would be to make the final and who knows what could happen, whether it be against Inter or Cagliari, who again are going to be playing tomorrow one hour earlier than this game kicked off. Inter will go in as favourites. Inter finished second in the league standings. Cagliari drew with Sampdoria yesterday, but having finished higher than them in the league regular season, they, uh, they went through to the semi. So Bonatti has looked uh, pretty stressed from the first seconds of the match, and uh, nothing's changed in that department. Now the substitution is being made here. Keramitsis. Keramitsis, 20 games and one goal for the Greek in the regular season. Makes his first appearance here in the, uh, the playoffs. 17 years of age. And another change as well. Pagano comes in. Karatovic out. So it all comes down to this. The last minutes, Roma are in the driving seat. Are they going to be able to get across the line? Ealing wins the header. Cherry waiting to bring this one down. Very attacking formation, having to change the uh, the lineup on the pitch as this second half has gone on. The three-man back line. Zwango. 
Swung it over to the left side where there was uh, acres of space, but could only pick out Ndiye. Pagano's first touch. Omic read it. Savona into Mulazzi. Crosses early. Good ball retention from Juventus. Some excellent technical skills as well as some errors from both teams. Crossing by Turicchia. And Iling tried to just let off the left boots. Bounces up and falls kindly into Master Antonio's gloves. That is a half chance. Second top scorer this season. Not an easy one by, uh, by any means. Quarter of an hour plus stoppages. Zwango. Turikia. Seklorarak. Zwango again. Now with Savona. Twenty-two players compressed into one third of the field as now it breaks down. Padula backs his speed against the tired and Zwango crosses early. Savona had to be short. And they'll take the corner kick. Well that substitution making the difference with Pagano racing down the right. And winning the corner kick. the back and then one cheap leads trippy again laid it off Senko couldn't do it twice Roma double Roma are going to the final celebrations to the Giallo Rossi and look at what it means to the under 19s here from the capital Trippi with the devilish pass, the shot by Padula, and then waiting was Vicario, who'd stayed up in position. His first goal, the Spaniard of the season. Senko could do nothing, and it is Roma 2, Juventus 0. And that has dashed the Bianconeri hopes. All coming from the vision of the captain, Filippo Trippi, who found a hidden angle. The shot by Padula, and then the simple header from Vicario, who is still up from the corner kick. In the meantime, Ruhi has come on, and uh, Stridonk. And so, in it, these two changes come, but uh, not going to be enough time. It doesn't look like 12 minutes to score three goals. Challenge by uh, Tarovic. Zwango works it out to the left hand side, Turikia. Ealing. Side of the boot, but there was cover in Savona. 
Finds it back into Senko. Risky. And that could be heading in. Would have been, but Senko not punished for his error. Tadovic with the shot. As Savona. Well, this just a little bit less hustle in the movement of Juventus now since that second goal went in. Feathered through the hole, but nobody waiting. Committed challenge on the slide by uh, Strijdonk. One goal in his 13 league appearances this season. Bonatti going back to Turin, unless there is a remarkable turnaround in the next 10 minutes with uh, nothing in his hands for the season. Atalanta won the Coppa Italia against Fiorentina. Primavera. Island gives it off. Misori. Trippi. Be a man of the match performance from the captain with a goal and a uh, pass that led to the second. Mulazzi backs himself down the line. Omic. That's a good ball. A little unlucky Turco couldn't bring it down. Then you see the balance and the speed of Ndai. Doesn't get the decision. Certainly one to watch in the future. Mulazzi. Some of the players have a more mature physique than others. Certainly Ndai on the far side has that natural size to him. Also he's 20 years of age, so one of the older players in the squad for Roma. Throw in by Rocchetti. Cherry. Eventually, after some deliberation, getting the decision there, Roma. Just about has enough uh, accuracy on it. Daye with the chip. And then in field, they can bring it away. Fatikanti lays it off. Trippi again. Finish the match as a contest. A deflection off Padula. Senko managed to change direction. Launch it out quickly. The header by Trippi. Round of applause for every touch the captain makes. Savona clips it forward. Oh, that's an error. Cherry. Made an attempt with the pass, and Ndiaye is there. It's a corner kick to Juventus. Credit there to the, the Senegalese defender, Aisa Ndiaye. Well, he lands on the roof of the net. Keeper was comfortable. Master Antonio underneath it. He'll start flapping his hands and won't be rushing to get this kick going again. Vicario. Well, he's going to be one of the heroes of the evening. Scoring his first goal of this campaign. As did uh, Trippi at the end of the first half. Master Antonio with a long kick out. Mulazzi misread and uh, Rocchetti goes off, tried to ride the challenge, no foul, Bit of cramp there for Omic. Mm. 
Credit to the Juventus camp team. saw what it meant to the Roma players when Vicario's head across the line and we're going to see uh, similar jubilant scenes and celebrations once the final whistle goes here and the chance still there Padula couldn't get the shot away he's already just hoofing it out Ealing has the throw in Savona. Inter with nine titles, Torino with nine Primavera titles, Roma with eight. An opportunity to level things up. That's a good ball. The keeper, slight misjudgment. He's lost it. There's no whistle. Strydonk. And the recovery shut the door down, Master Antonio. Not an easy save to make after he's off balance. Riley dispossessed by Faticanti. Ball over the top. It's a useful one. Padula's after it. Savona makes an error. And, uh, Corner kick is awarded. Savona there, maybe just fatigue, getting the better of him. Scrambled mind. Sort of bouncing ball at a short distance like that is always going to cause trouble. Well, uh, Master Antonio looks to be fairly uh, exhausted himself. They haven't played a competitive match for almost two weeks, Roma. As uh, Pagano is over the ball. Faticante is getting some refreshments. Alberto De Rossi. Get stoic Leon. It's way out the back for Ndai. Good pass. Trippi. It's nicely done too. Pagano. Finds an angle. You can see that Juventus now are not in the fight anymore. Roma are Cruising to victory and having won the league in the regular season. They will have the first spot in the Primavera playoff final. We'll wait and see tomorrow what happens between Inter and Cagliari. There's Mulazzi. Tomic. It's time to turn and where we saw throughout the match Juve were on Roma in a second in the midfield now they're always two three meters away Lazzi's ball Cinco took his time with the clearance out headed down by Indai and the clearance that's a foul late challenge he's already stays Touching his right leg. There will be a couple of minutes certainly added on for the cooling break. And uh, it won't make any difference at this point as we see this again. Strydon got there. Rode the challenge, even he was uh, suffering after that contact. Mr. Antonio was mid air and didn't seem to be any foul. And there's not going to be any late drama here as there was against Atalanta in the quarterfinals. Trippi. Tairovic. It's another good save by Senko. Bosnian Swede measured the shot through the crowd, was curling back towards the post. 
Senko couldn't take any risks. Taken short this time. Three in the box. Trippi was on the edge of the area. Filippo Trippi. Crossed in. Straight at Senko. Well, anything now would just be a consolation for Juventus. The 90 minutes are all but completed. Strydonk is pulled back for the collision from behind. And so six additional minutes. So it'll be important after this for Roma to uh, get all their massages and all of their uh, cooling down done. So they can be in top physical condition for next Tuesday's final, which is going to be at 8.30 p.m. Italian time. It's approaching 8 p.m. now, so a later kickoff should make the conditions a little easier for the players. As temperatures have been rising here in Italy in the last uh, few weeks. But a job well done here today by Roma that was uh, certainly up for grabs in the first half where Juventus were having the better of uh, many of the passages of play, more of the territory, more aggressive and uh, more intensity with and without the ball, without creating masses of chances as uh, Rocchetti knocks it into Pagano, who leaves the ball behind Savona. But it was... Uh, a bitter blow seeing that free kick go in for Roma just before the break. Then the crossbar struck by Unzwango. Which could have changed things dramatically. Just a few centimetres from the line as uh, Roma again starting to put their triangle passes and movement together. Pagano's after it. Unzwango gets there. Clever play, Mulazzi. Padula, blocked by Savano. Savona, I should say. But it's become ragged now from Juventus, just doing anything desperately to get the ball forward. To, uh, to no effect, so the, uh, the defensive work needed by Roma is uh, less difficult. Not to finish with a clean sheet as well, but uh, massive confidence boost for them, taking Juventus down in this uh, sort of fashion. Extra day's rest for De Rossi's side, compared to uh, whoever meets them in that uh, Tuesday evening showpiece final to decide the Primavera champions. It's a good ball in. Turco was underneath it. Strydonk. Strydonk again. Turco. Just as he looked up, lost control of the ball. And that challenge means a free kick for Roma. Not that any pressure was particularly building, but now they can get men further up the field. And the Bianconeri, yet again, it's been a long time since they were crown champions of the Primavera 2006 and we'll have to wait another year Roma just uh, too good today in the end taking their chances when they came and also defending well when Bonatti's team started to see a little bit of ascendancy they won the ball, ball back around the 60th minute 
mark and didn't lose it for three or four minutes. That also changed the tempo of the game after Juventus had been dominating. This is uh, Strijdonk trying to push forward. And so we can uh, look forward to Roma in the final. Look forward to tomorrow's action as well. Don't forget between Inter and uh, Cagliari, with Inter going in as favourites. His second in the regular season. Who knows what could happen. Eiling wasn't his day today. Maybe they'd missed uh, Mbangula as well. Score of the first goal in the the quarterfinal against Atalanta. Well, we're inside the last minute of the additional time, and so it's at the referee's behest shortly to bring the curtain down on this first semi-final in the Primavera. And they're already asking from the sidelines for the final for the final whistle, but there is time enough for this corner kick. Goals from Filippo Trippi and Javier Di Cario in either half. Taking Roma to this point. Omic. And there is the final whistle. Roma move on to the final, and it could be a glorious swan song for Alberto De Rossi. The long-time coach of the Roma under-19s has done it with a 2-0 victory over Juventus. And they will go into next Tuesday's final to face either Inter or Cagliari, who play tomorrow. That's all we've got time for from the Stadio Enzo Ricci. Good evening.